Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at our Rhino Rack roof rack system with the 49 inch long crossbars and the fit kit for your flush side rails here on our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L. So you've got this large Jeep with a large capacity and you can carry around a bunch of people. But what if you also want to carry around a bunch of different accessories like bike racks, a roof basket, a roof box, or even a rooftop tent. What you then need is a roof rack system, kind of like this one. So this is the Rhino Rack roof rack system with a 49 inch long crossbars. It has or it creates a good surface for those different accessories and we'll talk about how it fits on your Jeep Grand Cherokee L. With a 49 inch long crossbars, it sticks a little bit past your raised rails but not past your vehicle. So that's going to be called overhang. You measure from the end of the tower to right before the end cap, that's three and three quarter inches. If you want to carry, let's say, kayak carriers with lotuses like the Thule Elevator that requires a certain overhang, you might want to even get the 54 inch long crossbars to fully maximize your crossbar space. So while using your roof rack system, this is another reason you might want a little bit more overhang. I'm on the short side, but this is also a larger vehicle. So this is how far you'd have to reach to get your accessories up onto your roof before getting onto your car. Now, this also has a fixed crossbar spread. So you measure from one crossbar to another and it's 27 and a quarter inches apart. So since it's fixed mounting points, just double check your accessories and make sure that that crossbar spread can work for them. Now let's take some other measurements. You have a glass roof on your Grand Cherokee L, so you'll want to make sure you have enough clearance. So there's two clearance measurements. One is measuring from the roof to the bottom of the crossbar, and I have it at about three inches, or just a little less than three inches. That's how much space you have for clamps that go around your crossbars. So let's say you have the more entry level ones that have U-bolts and wing nuts, you wanna make sure that that's enough space. This is pretty average for a roof rack. The next measurement is gonna be the height added to the top of the roof. So the top of the crossbar is gonna sit a little past three and three quarter inches above the roof. So if you have, let's say, accessories and you wanna carry around your skis and snowboards, and those have extra tall bindings, that's how much clearance you have before you hit the roof. If that's not enough for your accessories, you may want to check out our carriers that give you that extra lift. These are Vortex Aero bars with the Vortex strips on top covering the T-Track channel. And they are Aero bars, which means that compared to your traditional round or square cost bars that could get kind of noisy and had a lot of wind drag, these are more aerodynamic. And that way when you're driving down the highway and you don't have other accessories on here, it doesn't have as much wind noise or wind drag. With these being 49 inch long crossbars, you can't mount your clamps everywhere. You'll have to be mindful of where the rails are and where your towers are, unless you're using T-Track mounted accessories. So when you lift these up, you gain access to that, and then you can use the entire crossbar to mount your items. That way, if you want them further out towards the end, you can do so. Now for the security features, your crossbars are gonna have this plastic end cap and then you're gonna have this included plastic tool. So I have it in the unlock position. I can pop that out, turn that, and it's now in the lock position. You can upgrade these to metal lock cores, but if you do, make sure to get a bunch of extras so you can match them with the included lock cores on your Rhino Rack Tower. So this one is key to like for the four towers, and if you wanna add on the crossbar ends too, make sure you get the lock cores to key those alike. I'm actually a big fan of how nicely the towers fit around our flush side rail. You do have this rubber sleeve that goes around your tower and then just creates a nice smooth surface so that water can come down, but it also has a sleek look on top of your Cherokee L. So if you use our e-trailer fit guide, we can get the right fit for you and your vehicle. So we have this kit, which includes the crossbars, the towers, and the fit kit as well as the things that you need to tighten it down. But I use some extra tools just to make my life a little bit easier. One is the Moki doorstep. I clip this into the door, giving an extra height and traction, especially helpful on this larger vehicle. 
I also use a 10 millimeter open head wrench and that's a ratchet wrench. Don't forget your tape measure to make sure your crossbars are aligned. We also have a flat head screwdriver and a 3 16 wrench to tighten things down. Now, after we use all that, let's take a look at the install. So the install process is a little bit involved. So that's what this video is for. I'm gonna guide you through that process so that you can do this at home too. Now we have the towers, we have end caps, we have two different types of screws, we have our fit kit, and we have our crossbar. So we're gonna combine all of that and get that installed on our Jeep Grand Cherokee L. First, you need to prep your Jeep. So whether you're installing a Pioneer platform or crossbars, you're gonna use different mounting holes. So you're gonna find that right here. Use the front and the middle for your crossbars. Use a flathead screwdriver just to pop that cap out and that will prep it for mounting a crossbar. Also, I go ahead and put a towel there on the roof. That way when you're working with tools, you're not scratching up your roof. So now you have your fit kit. So this has your metal bracket and then it has your rubber sleeve. So that rubber sleeve just goes around that metal bracket and gives it a little bit of a cushion because this is what's sitting on top of your flush rail. Now line up that bracket over there on your flush rail and you're just gonna smush down on that sleeve just to make sure it's flush. Then get your two bolts and these are the one that use an Allen key and just thread those in there to secure that metal bracket. So you can hand tighten that down, but you also have an included tool. I actually use a 3 16 hex bit. That way it's just easier to tighten down. Just make sure you don't over torque it. You'll feel the flush rail bend, so just make sure that's lined up. Then you get your towers and you set up your crossbar. So this should already have the plate on it because this is what you're gonna use to slide into the crossbar. So measuring things out and then tightening them down in the right order is probably gonna be the trickiest part about this install. So what I do is I actually measure from the mounting holes on our roof. So it's gonna be 42 inches apart, center to center. And then I just match that up with our towers. Make sure they're 42 inches apart, center to center. And then that's where I tighten down the towers to the crossbar. So now you're gonna get your crossbar and your towers and set them in those brackets. And then you're gonna get your hex head screws. Don't forget to put the split washer and flat washer on it. Drop it through the top of the tower and secure that tower to your metal bracket. You are going to use a 10 millimeter open wrench to tighten that down. And your final step is just pop that end cap for your tower in. Use the key to lock and secure it. Do that for all four towers. Don't forget the end caps for your crossbars. Once you've done that, double check that everything is nice and secure. That's it for the install. You're ready to load this up and hit the road. So my personal thoughts about the Brian Rack Roof Rack system is while it does take a little bit of time and effort and thought to install the first time, after that you have a sleek and durable system. So this does have a 165 pound weight capacity for different types of accessories and cargo. It doesn't sit too far out past the vehicle. I would prefer the 54 inch long crossbars, but it is more of a personal aesthetic choice. Definitely solid with the T-Track channels and the included locks. I think this would be a great choice for your Jeep Grand Cherokee L. And this right here was a look at the Rhino Rack roof rack system with the 49 inch long crossbars, the towers for your fixed mounting points, and the custom fit kit for your 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L.